In this example, I'm going to show you guys how to do the internal rate of return. So hopefully you guys have your calculator in hand because you're not going to want to do this by hand. Um, so as you can see, we have cash flows. Uh, we're assuming a cost of capital of 7%. That's just for project analysis and whatnot. So for IRR to calculate it, we don't need that uh, 7%, but we're going to want that 7% when we decide if we want to pursue the project or not. As you can see, we have our years, 1 through 4, or 0 through 4, I should say, because we have an uh, initial cost of 63000 So our cash flows are as follows. And IRR, and you're, you're going to want to use your calculator. So if you have the BA2+, plus or the TI-83, find out where IRR is. For your BA2+, plus, you're going to want to use the, uh, the cash flow functions, which is, you know, cash flow 0, you put in the 63000 make sure it's a negative, arrow down, then you're going to put in the 26000 arrow down, frequency is obviously 1, arrow down, 22,000 is cash flow 2, arrow down, frequency is 1, so on and so forth. Or you could actually do fre frequency as 2 if you want to combine the 22,000 for two, uh, years 2 and 3. But it's up to you, however you want to do it. But for Excel's sake, all it is is a function of IRR. And all you do is you put in the values and you just drag down from $63,000 all the way down to the 2,000, close the bracket and hit enter. As you can see, it's 6.9992%, um, which is <laughs> roughly our 7%. Um, but for this sake, since it is lower than the 7%, I'm going to say that we're not going to do this project, even though it's so slightly close. Um, we're going to stick to our rules, which are you want to have an internal rate of return greater than your cost of capital. So when your cost of capital is less, or I'm sorry, when your internal rate of return is less than your cost of capital, you're not going to pursue the project. So in this case, obviously, we're not going to pursue this project. But let's see if we change, how about we change uh, year four cash flow to say, um, we'll say $12,000. Let's see what our answer changes to. If we had a cash flow of $12,000 in year four, our IRR jumps all the way up to 12.8682%. In this case, we would definitely pursue the project because our internal rate of return is a lot greater than our cost of capital. So remember, internal rate of return, when it's greater than the cost of capital, you do. When your internal rate of return is less than your cost of capital, you're not going to pursue the project.